Good evening. I'm actually starting this in the e in the in the evening for once. Um, yeah. So today I am starting dissertation uh, dissertation diaries number four because tomorrow morning I have my first meeting about dissertation. So since I last updated you, I've had my first like lecture about it and my first like seminar for it. But now I've actually been assigned our dissertation tutors and yeah, we're gonna. Uh, have our first like meetings with them this week obviously all done virtually through google hangouts but she hasn't sent me a link for that yet so i don't know but my first meeting is tomorrow at 10 a.m um i'm like i'm kind of looking forward to it like obviously i think everyone's at really different points at the moment like some people have no idea what they're doing theirs on some people have an idea just don't know how to go about it i'm kind of like i have an idea like i've got a topic in mind but i've really got a question so obviously i showed you in my previous one like what kind of research i've done so far so i think i'm just going to email that to her, to her tomorrow morning and just go through that. I think for this semester we're allowed five meetings with our um, dissertation tutor and then obviously the rest of it we've got to do ourselves and then our seminars on a Friday are basically like drop-in sessions so we can again ask more questions then. Um, sorry that clackering, clackering is that even a word? <laughs> I've just got um, a cup of hot chocolate. Funny story literally all my ha housemates are out tonight um, but I was like no I've got a dissertation meeting tomorrow I want to have a fresh head so Yep, <laughs> being a typical third year student, but not mad about it. I, I need to bring my mum in a minute anyway. But yes, yeah, so I'll let you know how my meeting tomorrow goes on. And yeah, I'll be doing more things to do with my dissertation this month. Obviously, I've got my first deadline for it. So on the 26th of October, I've got a hand in my proposal form. So it doesn't go towards our grade or anything. It's just basically saying this is what I want to do for my dissertation. Then you've got to get it like approved. Obviously, you've got to buy ethics and your method in it as well. But I think it might be quite straightforward because I'm not doing any primary data. Like, I cannot be bothered to ask people to do surveys and stuff. So, yeah, literature review is for me. Um, but yeah, I'm currently watching Emma's Rectangle. I love her weekly vlogs, like, so much. They're just so relaxing. Um, but yes, I'll update you in the morning. Also, please like and subscribe if you like this video and the dis Dissertation diary series. So I have just had my first dissertation meeting with my supervisor, um, it went quite well, it was quite like brief, um, so yeah we were allowed five this semester, um, so yeah she basically asked me what topic I'm interested in if I've got a question, so basically I'm interested in social media as a tool for education, um, and she says like it seems really interesting what I want to do, I need to like make it a bit more specific it's very very broad at the moment. Um, so basically my three kind of action points I guess are to do more reading, find out what I actually want to know about it, like what's like what needs to be investigated further kind of thing, and just make it as specific as possible. Apparently it's easier to do a dissertation if it's more specific. Um so we've got like two worksheets we've got well we don't have to do them, but like if you don't really know what you're doing, they've been uploaded for us. I'm gonna do those worksheets now. Um and yeah, I'll get back to you in the next bit. <laughs> Well, we made it to October and I'm my first to cry at uni. Oh god, why am I filming this? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed today to be honest. Like, I just, you know, you wake up and you just feel like things are a bit much. Like, it just hit me that I've got my first, like, dissertation deadline on, like, the 26th of October. It's the, 20th, it's the 17th today, so I've still got, like, eight days, I know, or nine days, whatever. But, like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel very like set in stone and I feel, I feel really over it today. I don't know what I'm whispering though, I'm gonna hear me upstairs anyway, but um, I'm gonna go downstairs in a minute, but it's just like all gone top of me. And like, my family are all going out for dinner tomorrow and I think I'm like homesick the past two days. I've also gone my period today, so that's probably why I'm feeling a bit shit as well. I just woke up and I just felt like I woke up like six o'clock this morning, it's a Saturday morning. I woke up, I was like, shit, what is deadline? What is deadline? So I've, I've like done half this sheet now. Um, and I've got like another meeting on Tuesday to talk about things. Um, but yeah, just my schedule's a bit jam packed next week and I'm just a bit overwhelmed. Like, I know I'll be fine. But yeah, this is reality being a student. Just. <laughs> Life gets a bit too much sometimes, you know, um, but I'm going out for drinks tonight, we're going to Weatherspoon, so that'd be really nice. Um, and then next Friday, I'm going to 
um, going out for bottomless brunch and we're going like to a pumpkin patch thing but to us that's what set me off like <laughs> basically we had to like change the booking around the people we're booking with are just being really slow and shit um, <laughs> and then I felt like I was letting people down which I know I'm not but like yeah it was just like that and then I was talking to my mum at the same time about like the lockdown and stuff and yeah it's just like I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this back and think God care why are you crying like <laughs> chill out but um yeah this is just me um yeah dissertation diary number four yeah sorry I'm crying but yeah I'm just a bit overwhelmed but um it's literally a new proposal form doesn't even go towards anything but like it's like the first thing they got to approved before you can do dissertations so I'm just hoping it's all right um, but luckily I've got my dissertation meeting on Tuesday so I can actually ask if it is okay to go forward and I've got another seminar on Friday about it so it will be fine, I've written something anyway so like she even said to me, do you have my dissertation supervisor, she was really honest, she was like you're either gonna like, she said you probably will have a breakdown about it at some point, is this going on now? <laughs> um, and um yeah, you'll either have a breakdown about it at some point and she was like with the proposal like don't worry about it too much she's like even if you do it really badly you'll still get feedback on it and which you can improve on so i said hopefully it's fine but yeah i need to just like chill out and just stop thinking about it but i'm the sort of person i can't relax about uni work or whatever work until i've literally done it and handed it in um but obviously i'm only halfway through it now so but yeah i just like oh my god third year life it's handed in my dissertation proposal form Woo! And what have I just put in the wrong box? No, that is research proposal. Cool. <laughs> so, I'm gonna finish this dissertation diary here. Sorry for all the crying in the previous clip, as well as, as, I, as I was saying, I was just not in a very good headspace a couple of Saturdays ago, but all good now. Um, yeah, you know, we move. <laughs> so, yes, please like and subscribe if you like the dissertation diary. Um, the reason I'm all made up today is because I'm going pumpkin picking and then bottomless brunch after so if you want to watch what happens there make sure you subscribe for my weekly vlog which will be coming next week i think um but yes thank you for watching and i will see you soon bye